Okay, so we are back here with uh, Trident taking on uh, Money Team here on uh, CTF Lockdown. As I just quickly reset the scoreboard there. And auto assign myself a team as we jump on board with Mon Money Team to start off with. And it looks like they're going to try and push this hallway and get hallway control. And I'm on board with Mental now, who's coming around the back as Rixie gets a big double nade early to f to uh, get the uh, first blood. And now Mental pulling. He tries to get through mannequins, but Maka just sitting on that B balcony as Kui will take out Jolton. And Wolfie will pick up Maka, so Rixie now just sitting up in Arches. He wants to get into Art and he wants to get the cutoff. They are going a long way around our Trident and. Uh, I don't really agree with where they're going because you do get spawn trapped a bit if you push all the way around there as someone, as Wolfie does pick up the flag for the team of oh, money team and they're uh, playing it well, Rixie just sitting around waiting he wants to contest this player that's got the flag and get the return but he doesn't want to do it too early and give them a free path to get across to the flag so he's just waiting, he's going to go up top sniper, come around the other staircase, maybe look out the window as he's just having a look, I'm not sure if he's looking in the right place, yeah, it's around the corner. And not a lot happening on the map, just a bit of a stalemate at the moment. As Fred's here with the flight onto the flag, and Mac can get the huge double kill. And a maven bigger triple kill here to get the flag return for his team. And possibly the first flag capture going towards Trident. And I think we'll hop on board with Zoltion here. And in fact, yes, Trident did get the first flag cap. As Zoltion makes his way back towards his own flag, back into this tunnel, where uh, enemy, enemy traffic does seem to be heading. And Zoltion does realise that there is enemy around him somewhere. But where is he? I am not sure in Jolty on his well, store either. Nice, as seen a little yeah, out of control. He gets a massive like kill on it's Legends as he realizes that there's also push another push enemy high. around the vicinity somewhere, but he's not too sure as he sees his team pushing to mannequins and in fact there was no one there. And I think we'll up on board here with Rixie, who is in the midst of the action, sitting in bottom art. He's just running around frantically looking for a kill, and in fact, he does pick up Zeke, and there was a double kill happening for his team, and an even bigger kill there on Kiwi, but as he dies as he hops onto the flag, and Jolteon, in fact, pushing even further into the action, into their spawn, but he dies, in fact, by Legends, by a massive kill there. Yeah, big kills there, and Rixie almost being able to uh, pull off that kill and pull the flag, but unable to do so. Unfortunately, Maka going big for his team at the moment, 10 and 3, just unstoppable, really. And he's probably the reason they've got two flag caps right now, as Kui does pick up the flag, but Mental will just cut that off and take him down with the PP90. I'll swap over. Rixie getting taken down by Zeke with the headshot there. Jolteen gets taken down. That's a four down. And Trident should be able to grab this flag and run it as Legends takes out Wolfie with the headshot. Rixie gets taken out by Legends and a bit of a spawn trap happening here as Trident look like they're definitely going to get this next, uh, next flag cap and Wolfie pushing all the way around. Going around back sniper back uh, back of art trying to just get a bit more map control, but he will get taken down by Zeke as well. And money team just getting smashed here by Trident as Rixie lags a little bit. I'm not sure what happened there. I'm not sure if I'm lagging whether he's lagging, but he did get out of that. Um, okay, mental now pushing in towards this uh, hallway, and with a minute 14 left, the team of Trident just looked well on top of this game. Yeah, I mean, they're on the money over here at the moment. They are the money team, not the team for themselves. Money team, as you see, Dolceon get taken out by Kiwi, who has always done a really good job of defending his flag on this map, especially. And once they're in a roll, I mean, uh, you just see Maka there coming right at them like a wrecking ball with 14 kills and 4 deaths and 1,100 points to his name. I think it's got two of those taps, actually. I think we'll hop on board. I think I was going to say Rixie, but he got dropped. So we'll hop on board with Mental. He gets a huge double kill for his team and a strike to set the pace for them. You get the flag, as we see Wolfie there on the top left, grabbing the flag for his team. And in fact, Legends gets a massive kill and then a knife as we see him 
Oh, oh the kill feed's there, and he's always he's trying to stab it. someone at Dolce on getting sandwiched there by his own doing, and Mental just shaking his head in the game, knowing that they are out of it. Four flags being down, and he's spinning around his circle with only nine seconds to go. Yeah, it's only the first half, and it is 4-0 in favour of Trident. They are just dominating. This match at the moment and see Jolty and get a nice double kill to finish off the round. Uh, if we look at the scoreboard, 16 and 6 from Maka, 9 and 6 from Kui, uh, 5 and 6 from Zeke, and 11 and 5 from Legends. And on the other team, we've got Rixie topping his team at 9 and 5, I believe, as I get the scoreboard back up. Uh, 9 and 10, sorry, 6 and 10 for Mental, 6 and 10 for Jolton. And Wolfie 2 and 11 getting absolutely pumped at the moment. And really, he needs to step up for his team in the next few maps if they uh, want to have any chance of getting through back to the grand final. But um, we are on board with the team of Trident. And Maka now pushing down towards this mannequin side. And really, they they haven't, they haven't got dropped. They're just pushing. They're running around. They're doing really whatever they want on this map. They just haven't uh, haven't pushed the flag yet. As Maka does see one, he'll take out Mental, get taken down himself. And Legends is just waiting at the back of uh, hallway. He'll get dropped by Wolfie and Cooey just spawning down bottom. He sees one there. Can he get the kill? He might be able to know he will get taken down by Wolfie. And the team, uh, money team, making a little bit of a comeback, but Trident's still well on top. Yeah, Maka looking at him playing with the ACR at the moment here, opting for the AR over the successful sub. He's been doing so well with the sub, so I'm curious as to why he decided to pull out an AR, but uh, nevertheless, he's going huge with it. 19 kills, 1 assist and 8 deaths at the moment. As we're on board with Legends here, he seems to be defending his flag, and I wonder where Kui is. I think Kui is in hallway. Yes, he is, as he gets taken out, I think, from the side there while he was shooting at the enemy team. On the other side of the map from him, as we're on board with Zeke at the moment, who's super red, knowing that an enemy is in there. He gets assistance from his teammate Legends, it looks as though they will both push in there at the same time and eliminate Wolfie in there, who is now going 5 kills and 13 deaths, and he can step up for his team if they want to try and at least take out this game. But um, it seems a little too far from their reach as Zeke jump shots and doesn't get a kill, but uh, gets an assist, I believe, for that kill. As his teammate and now will no no one got the flag actually or someone picked up the flag but someone must have picked it up and died and Zeke at the moment running back towards his base and he sees someone coming up bottom snipe jump shots and dies by Rixie by a massive kill a really nice shot and Rixie getting a double kill and that's one player up at the moment. Yeah, Legends trying to get that kill. He's unable to do so and it looks like the team. Uh, team Money or Money Team will get a cap here as they run it through mid. They should be able to get one. Um, Trident, there we go. There's the cap, but Trident still four caps up. Four, uh, five caps to one at the moment. And Maka, I just got to say, 23 and 11 going huge for his team as Trident just getting kills left, right, and center there. That's a three down already, and they need to push, or they don't need to push, but they're going to push anyway. And try and get this flag. As Kui didn't see the guy over to to his right straight away, I don't think. But uh, Mac is going to push in now. He's got an AR, yet he's still got two caps on the board. And he'll get taken down. So will Kui. And Legends now. He'll pop up, take Mental out. And he's just sitting down in art, just controlling it. And a beautiful headshot there on Jolter to pick up the double kill. And uh, really, this match is just all tried it all the way. Minute 45 remaining as Rixie gets a double, gets a flag return. And uh, just keeps his team well within a respectable scoreline for this half. Uh, this game is looking really one-sided for Trident at the moment, and I hope this doesn't reflect what's going to happen in the rest of the matches. Uh, we want to see some close games, as we did predict, um, as I think everyone would have predicted, really. But uh, minor team trying to make a move here at the moment, but uh, I think it's just a little too late because. Back is, back is just a wrecking ball here at the moment in every single way, going 24 and 13, massive for his team there. As we saw, uh, Rixie, I think he was attempting to get a quick double kill, but was unsuccessful, and Kui just quickly saving, almost saving that cap, as uh, Money Team do get one more cap. But as I said, it is a little too late here, as Kui does have the flag moving in towards hallway, just past his teammate. 
Well, we just got stunned. Will he make it towards his flag in time before uh, someone can kill him? And I think he will. Put the deficit out back towards war, I believe it was. Yeah, 6 2 now. The score becomes 2 2 this half. So, uh, Money Team have played a little bit better. They might have just been a little bit rusty from waiting all day for a match to come around um, their way as they did what they were in the winner's bracket final and they lost that. They don't want to lose the loser's bracket final as well. It looks like, well, they will go down in this match 6-2, um, maybe 7-2 if Zeke can get all the way back with this flag. But, uh... Kui getting a nice double there, except uh, one of the players was his teammate. Zeke will get the cap, and there's only 5 seconds to go, so that will make it a 7 flags to 2 map yeah, need, oh, in yeah, favour of Trident. Right. They have right. played it insanely well, and uh, really not let Money team get anywhere near um, winning. Uh, search and destroy coming up next, and I would like to see what Rixie and Co have to say. Uh, they'll have to put their foot down there, especially Wolfie needs to pick up his game. He got absolutely demolished in this last game on lockdown, capture the flag, and he'll be getting a little words of advice from uh, his teammates, especially Rixie. I know him. He'll be uh, voicing his opinion on what he should be doing and what he shouldn't be doing and probably what he's been doing wrong is what he needs but uh, hopefully they're doing it in a constructive way because one thing you don't want to do is put down his teammate in the middle of a big match yeah that's right you want to keep uh, keep confidence high but when you've got players on the other team going 28 and 15 and 23 and 13 like Macker and Legends were doing it's uh, difficult to do Rixie played alright he got 23 kills 18 deaths but as we said, the rest of them, Mental 10 and 20, Wolfie 8 and 19, Jolteon 14 and 20, not going too bad, but still uh, very negative. But it's hard not to be when you get smashed by that many flag caps. Uh, Trident really, really played well, and I, um, I guess it's hard to look past them. Uh, I think, well... They're my tip to go through and play immunity in the grand final, but Money Team definitely showed against immunity when we streamed that they they weren't that far off. They did lose 3-0, but it wasn't really uh, a reflection on how the game was played. The uh, first map was a bit one-sided, but the rest of them very, very close. I think 5-6 they only lost, or I believe it was 4-3 or something, something around there. They lost by one round on Carbon, which was extremely close, and then... And then they only just lost by one cap, I think, in uh, in the capture of the flag, the third map. The th so they they've shown that they can play, and they are good enough to be there in the grand final. It's just whether they can overcome Trident, who also have shown how good they are um, all day, really, to the stream. As we will go on board with the team of uh, Money Team to see see what they do early and. See if they can pick up a couple of kills and get a couple of rounds to start off with as we're on board with Mental, who's currently in minibar with that ACR checking either side, checking uh, elevators, escalators, sorry, as he sees one there, he can't take him out. Kui will pick him up. And now Joltian just has to watch his back, which will make it difficult for the team of uh, Money Team to push up with only uh, three players left and one of them having to watch that flank. Yeah, Trident uh, also one player down there is a 3v3, but uh, Rixie having one kill to his name, and same as Kui, as we see Rixie now pushing out towards construction with a PP90 in one hand and a MP7 in the other, but he's up for the PP90 because of its uh, range shot and its clip, and he will need to make his move soon because his teammates are also getting fired upon, and he does now as he pushes out searching for a kill, and he sees one and dies by legends here. Dropping for his team, putting him in a 2v3 situation with Jolteon now. Just searching for the guy who killed Rixie and he'll throw a nade over there as he gets shot at and he's super red and stunned. And he's in all sorts as he gets naded once again by Kui, leaving Wolfie, the last player alive. And he is stuck in a sticky situation as Maka jumps over the top of his face and pistol whips him. And I believe Maka will be sniping too in the same position which he did earlier. In fact, he is. Yeah, Maka's been scoping uh, on... Pretty much all the search and destroy maps that you can um, practically have a scope. Carbon may have been 
one that um, it's pretty hard to find a spot to scope from. It's pretty in close, but uh, definitely Arkadin, there's the spots for him to get some spawn snipes, and it looks like the team of uh, Easy Money or uh, Money Team have really backed off, made sure that Maka can't get those scopes, but we are on board with Trident now as Zeke will take, get taken down, so will Kui. Legend's trying to get a kill there with his ACR, and unable to do so, just getting a couple of tags, and he sees one just jump over the billboard. He might just watch there, he might go for a kill, maybe. He's going to get shot at from Joltian, and a beautiful shot. Maka taking out Wolfie, we just caught the end of that scope. That was beautiful, Wolfie just charging in, and Maka cleaning him up with that beautiful scope shot that he does have and he does use a lot and uh, probably one of the better scopes in competitive COD in Oz as we see him there he sees one over near the soda machines no one no one there so or he can't see him he's backed off so he's just gonna wait but Joltian takes him out from the side and that will be the first round for uh, money team in this uh, search and destroy. Yes, and we do know now that it is first to four, unlike the earlier game we saw immunity play, trying to win by two, and that was the wrong thing to do. It's made it a little harder themselves as they switch over now and get on board with the money team once again. And I think we'll hop on board with Jolteon to kick us off as he's got the bomb in hand and he'll hop up top of the stairs here. Just try to get a quick kill on the guy on billboards. No, in fact, he'll hop back over towards construction as there is no one sitting in there and they could get flanked at any time. And look at the kill feed as it tried to pick up two players but lose one of their own, putting them in a 3v2 situation with Jolte on a mental taken on Kui Legends and Zeke. Jolte on is in construction and mental is now back in his spawn watching the flank, making sure no one can come up behind his fellow teammate. And Jolte on will now make a move. On the enemy team, no he won't, he'll pull back because he's not giving away his position to everyone, for everyone to see. And Mental just clustering himself up with Jolteon. And it seems as though Mental not knowing exactly what to do because all he's done right now is replace Jolteon when he ran away from there. And I think we'll start on board with Jolteon because he knows exactly what he's doing and what to do. And he does have bomb in hand here, just rotating around, trying to look for a quick kill, trying to make sure that uh, Trident haven't poked. And in fact, Mental does pick up Zeke there, making it a bit easier for them, putting him in a 2v2 situation, meaning one person is at A and one person is at B. So they will have to hit up one bomb site together now, and Jolteon making his move on A, meaning Mental will need to move over and come over towards A with him. But uh, I don't think he will, or maybe he will actually. He's turning around now, just watching his flank as Jolteon... Needs to move to the bomb fairly quickly, he's got 50 seconds left on the clock and he gets taken out by someone, I think behind the shrubs, uh, move on to him at the last second and Mental seeing a guy down bottom, food court, and it was Kiwi having a little feed down there and he's seen Mental put, the, put away the food, pulled out his gun and got a really nice shot on Mental there to finish it for, tried it. Yeah, Mental unable to hold his shot um, there. And just, uh, he shot first and he really should have got that kill, but unfortunately he didn't. Um, so we will, uh, we'll swap back over towards the Trident team and see what they do. We might jump on board with Maka, who has abandoned his, uh, scope as he pushes in with the MP7 and he gets taken out by Jolton, so maybe a, uh, sign for Maka to keep that scope going as he has been doing work with it so far as Zeke will go for a long range kill get the headshot on Wolfie and Legends will take out Rixie so now Mental last alive on his own in a uh, 1v3 situation Maka the only player down from Trident and it's going to be interesting to see what he can do as Kui will go in for this bomb plant and Legends just looking around to try and find him Mental takes out Zeke and Kui now just uh, just going to back off and maybe go and plant at A as his teammate Legends is just watching over towards this top uh, top billboards area. Yeah, Legends also backing off, making sure he doesn't push back from construction back towards his own base. And Bomb is now down, and they are in a 2v1 situation here with Bomb down. And knowing that the Bomb is 7.5 seconds a few, so all they need to hold him is for until 7 seconds is left on the clock here and time is ticking away as Legend sees him over towards the boardwalk and puts up a hip fire for a second they're hoping he'll get the kill for a good kill cam there 
Uh, comes it out to his teammate, Kui, he will stay prone and wait for the bomb to be infused as uh, Legends pokes a little more. The bomb is getting defused right now, or at least he thinks it is, and Kui picks him off and finishes it off and pulls away with one more round to win for Trident. And I think Money Team are going to lose this 2 0, but uh, they need to pull their fingers out and do something radical. Yeah, they need three rounds in a row, and I really can't see him doing that. Trident just playing really, really well so far this uh, game, and I can see him going on with it, but then again, if Rixie picks it up, it goes big, and maybe Wolfie picks up his game, currently going 1 and 4. They might be able to jag a few rounds, maybe get the round, but Cooey going big with a nice double. We're on board with Zeke now. He's pushing in. He's going to get the kill on Mental, and now one more player alive. Joltian, who is top scoring for his team, he's going to need to go huge, get a four down. And he gets one there on Zeke as we see Macra push in. He's going to get the shots on Joltian. And that will be 4-1. That will be now the 2-0 map score. And one more, uh, one more round to go. Oh, one more map for Trident to go. Money Team have to win three maps in a row. We will be going back to capture the flag. I'm not sure what the map is. If I just have a look at the maps. We do have the loser bracket final. We'll have capture the flag on bootleg. And uh, up next. So that will be a very, very interesting, uh, interesting game to watch as, uh, we just Wait for the game to end as we have a look at the scoreboard. Kui 7 and 1 going huge. 4 and 3 for Maka. 3 and 1 for Legends. 3 and 5 for Zeke. On the other team, we've got Jolting going 5 and 4. 3 and 4 for Mental. 1 and 4 for Rixie. And 1 and 5 for Wolfie. So uh, we've got Memento and uh, myself on the bottom of the team with no kills at all. As we are bringing you this uh, HBTV stream. For the entire day of Modern Warfare 3, free to play ODC hosted by ASAP and Swack. Please uh, be sure to follow this ch uh, this channel on uh, Twitch.tv, top left or bottom left of your screen, depending on what layer you use of Twitch. And make sure to follow both of us on Twitter at Locko18 for me at Momento924. Moe as we will get straight into capture the flag here. Trident uh, have been playing CTF bootleg very, very strongly in the last few games and some exciting matches have come out of it. So we'll see. Uh, hopefully this one lives up to the same expectations as all the others. As I'm not sure what's going on. I'm currently on PMC but no one spawned in so... Uh, Wolfie does time out and we'll have to end the game, so we'll have to wait for him to get back into the game. And, uh, yeah, Moe, how do you see this? Also, uh, Wolfie, um, yep. Yeah, you were just about to ask me, how do I see you panning out? Um, I was just about to say, Wolfie lagging out, but also, Wolfie, I think, not to, not to bag him out or put pressure on him in any way, I think for most of it, um, he has not pulled his weight, like, um, Money Team would have wanted him to. I mean, he's been dropping massive. Now, in the first game, I don't know, I think his score was like 9 and 20, and then in that S&D, he went 1 and 5, and he really needs to pick up his game and pull his weight if they uh, want to get the win over a very consistent Trident team. I mean, all round Trident, everyone pulls their weight, everyone does their job, and I think in fours, if you just got one player not pulling his weight, you really can't carry. Um, you can't get any massive clutches in fours. Um, so you really need everyone pulling your weight and they'll be putting pressure on him also to do it and I hope he doesn't crash under the pressure and just go absolute mental, um, just lose it. So, so I, I just wonder how he's going to go in this game. Yeah, hopefully he does, uh, does pick it up and we see a good capture the flag on bootleg whether they win or not. Um, we want to make sure that it is as close as possible as we are still waiting for to join back, but he hasn't been playing the best. I'm going to agree with you there, but he definitely has the ability to uh, pick it up. And in fours, as you said, you can't really carry someone um, that is dropping um, dropping eggs. I guess um, 
especially especially in Black Ops 2 where there's uh, kill streaks because he does feed the other team. But in Modern Warfare 3 here, you will be able to come back from it a little bit, I think. Um, but against a good quality team like Trident, if you're playing uh, basically with three people going well and one not so well against a team of four that are just all on the same page, it's never going to end well. And that's, I guess, why we've seen... Uh, such a lopsided result with 7-2, to two, I believe, the score was on the first CTF and 4-1 in the uh, Search and Destroy on Arkad. And we now move to capture the flag on bootleg and hopefully we get to see a good close game like we have pretty much every time bootleg has been played on uh, on our stream today. So uh, I'll let you choose which team we go and let you take it off from the start. Thank you very much and I think we'll hop on with PNC here. I'm not sure what the initials of PNC stand for but um, looks like it is straight on board with mental style. Let him kick us off for the first round here being the team of, uh, of money team actually and mental with the ACR in hand looking to be one of the mid players here just getting stunned himself making sure he doesn't die pulls back up pulls off uh, just a little bit there, making sure a nade doesn't hit him, but also wants to peek out just a little bit to make sure no one pushes him. And Kirby sheds first blood as Mental dies in the back by Deke, I think it was, or Kirby. I'm not sure, but uh, the flag is in the hands of Kirby at the moment, so it must have been him. And it looks as though he's taken the flag straight down the centre, and Trident will get the first cap of the game. And uh, that was such an easy game for them, that it looks as though this will be a lopsided game once again yeah it looks like Trident really do have the advantage they've got that kill Mental with a big triple though to uh, get his team back on track that might give him a bit of confidence to push up and try and get a few caps here and make this one interesting as we see Rixie now he's on street side around the roundabout he gets Kui he's gonna poke he takes out Zeke as well there's no one really in front of him now he can push up if he likes but he's just going to sit back and just clean up any member of trident that tries to get back as jolton throws that nade through the uh through the restaurant as i like to uh i do enjoy throwing that nade if you get a kill with it it's one of the better kill cams especially in search and destroy but we are playing capture the flag and we see uh rixie here he's still sitting on roundabout uh, not doing a lot, and uh, I've swapped over to Jolteon, who's just sitting back on spawn. He takes out Kui, just defending his flag nicely, as Maka takes out Rixie, and Zeke takes out Jolteon, even though Jolteon got first shot. Wolfie will take out Legends, but Zeke with that kill, it was difficult for Wolfie to get that um, two-piece to save the flag. There was two players against him, and he get, did get taken down, and again, the team of Trident have run away with the flag, as Wolfie does take out Kui. And he sees one in front of him. Will he get the second kill? Yes, he will. Beautiful plays by Wolfie stepping up as he needs to do. He gets a nice double. He's going to go across. Can't quite stop that flag cap, unfortunately. He'll take out Zeke and unfortunately get dropped by Maka with that headshot. Rixie now trying to push up this broken wall side and through back market and try and at least make some sort of play on the uh, Trident flag. Yeah, the Trident two flags up against Money team here as we're on board with Jolteon. It pulls out the CP90 now, throws a couple of stuns at a Semtex and gets stunned in reply himself with a Semtex coming over the top of him. But he'll escape, but it's just a few shots on uh, Kiwi and Kiwi getting a huge double kill there and Wolfie and Jolte on a lie. And not much they're able to do here as Rixty is back on his own flag with fellow teammate Wolfie who just spawned in and mental with the ACR. And it seems as though they've been back into their own base and they're trapped here now with not much they can do. They need to get a kill and push out as fast as they can. So they need to put some pressure on Trident because Trident are just all over him. just on top of the games right now. And Jolteon starts the first push as he watches his teammate Wolfie oh. get dropped. And Kui gets a massive double kill there as Rixie picks him off too. And Rixie now needs to pull back and try to stop Zeke from pulling the flag for the third big half of the game. Yeah, I think this will be third cap. There's not real much you can do, but... And uh, there we go. Zeke will take it. And uh, Maka now taking out Jolton. Legends taking out Rixie. And as soon as... If you're defending as hard as the team 
uh, as money team are they all four of them were on defense then and if you if you're having to do that and then a three down happens you're not spawning back where your flag is and then you're pretty much done you've got four players in your spawn on your flag versus one you're spawning out and then they just run flags for the rest of the game they they were probably lucky Trident didn't really uh, didn't want to set up a massive spawn trap to keep them out on that street side but uh, Trident have just taken one flag they're three flags to O up that's all they really need to do they don't need to do anything more than what they've uh, what they've done and what they've been doing all day as uh, Wolfie will uh, now push around platform he's uh, Rixie takes out Kui and Wolfie just pushing it down he's gonna try and cut off Zeke who's grabbed the flag but he's gone mid and I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to catch him mental is currently in mid just waiting for Zeke to come through and he might be going straight no he is going mid and Kui will pick up mental I'm not sure will Zeke be able to get this flag cap it looks like he will and there we go Kui steals the uh, steals the flag cap by killing Zeke uh, with a team kill and that will be wow. four flags to zero. I think Rix is not too happy with Jolteon's performance there, getting a last kill on him after stunning him more than a couple of times. And just shooting him in the back there, which is uh <laughs> not what Jolteon not what Jolteon wanted to see. Uh, obviously Rix is not too happy with this performance. I think he was going three and twelve there, as we'll switch sides and hop on board with Trident who are uh, Looking to be the victors of the game as we see Legends pushing the mid here with fellow teammate as he fires a few shots and sheds first blood on Jolteon and keeps Jolteon's uh, big reign of necks going as he runs into the enemy team up there being Wolfie and gets dropped almost instantly with Maka being red. Pulls back with his ACR, opting for an AR once again instead of a submachine gun and sitting back right now. We'll look at the kill feed there and Zeke and Tui have been dropped by the enemy team, but Legends reacts and gets a massive double kill. And I think we'll switch over to him and see what's happening from his end. And he sees a third and gets another big kill on Rixie there, but he's unable to drop the fourth guy being Mental, and Mental holding his teams, his teams down together once again. Yeah, if we have a look at the scoreboard real quick, Zeke 14 and 8, 10 and 9 from Kui, 13 and 6 from Maka, 9 and 9 from Legends. On the other team, we've got uh, Rixie top 10 and 11. 9 and 9 from uh, Mental Wolfie, not going too bad, 9 and 12, but Jolteon 5 and 16, he's getting smashed, and uh, we gave it to Wolfie before, telling him he really needed to step up for his team, and he has done that, he's done as best as he can, he's currently topping his team at 11 and 12, but um, it doesn't really help when another team member of yours, um, you you stepping up after you haven't played well, and then, uh, and then that happens, it really can um, make tensions flare I guess between teammates so they gotta make sure that they uh, don't argue too much they uh, look like they're gonna be going down though they are four caps down um, already after the first half zero caps so far total from both teams this half as Wolfie will pick up the flag and try and steal it but the team of Trident have just defended it so well not allowing them out of the spawn but they do get out now and Kui is on the chase. He might not be able to get there. He got stuck on that little wall. And it looks like the team of well, Money Team will get their first cap. And they do through uh, Jolting in there. Um, but still, they are still three caps down. And I'm not sure. Could they do it with uh, 2 minutes 37 on the clock? Um, you never know. I guess you just have to wait and see towards the end there. But could, that could be the momentum swing they needed. Uh, in order to push as we see Kui get dropped there by a massive kill from Wolfie but Wolfie also getting dropped and returned by Maka a massive reply there uh, I think Maka has taken the nickname of being the wrecking ball of the game and uh, Legends here on board with him with a PP90 pushing alongside a teammate uh, I'm not sure who that was because Rixie got a double kill there but gets it dropped in turn by Kui and uh, now watching Zeke now with his MP7 suppressor taking one, taking two, getting hit by the third. Will he get the third? No, he won't because Jolteon has taken him out very nicely, in fact, as we hop back on board with Kui here. He was back on his flag site and going out wide to help his teammate. He just got stunned about a gazillion times and Kui throwing a stun and a nade. Now pushing up towards the enemy there. Who has got, who has got the flag? 
in his grasp, and Maka also has the enemy flag with him too, as Kiwi has taken out Mantle with a pistol whip kill, and Kiwi coming up behind the enemy, and that is not needed because his teammate has taken him out, but Kiwi has died in turn also, as we're back aboard with Legends here, who's on his own flag, and gets taken out again by Mental and Maka with a beautiful hip fire that are protected once again. Yeah, Maka going large. He just got a flag cut there. He's going to try and get a kill through the uh, through the bushes there in mid hit. Takes out Joltian, and he's currently going 19 and 11. Pretty big for his team, but he's only third. So uh, three out of four ain't bad for him as he does get a kill on Rixie. Zeke and Legends both pick up kills. That's another three down. They might be able to push. For yet another flag, the team of Trident, it's currently 5-1 in the flag cap count with 40 seconds left to go on the uh, on the clock as Kui is just running back. He's over plat now. He, if he drops down, he might be home free, and he looks like he's going to be he's running through the, uh, through the alley, through mid, and it doesn't seem like anyone's going to contest him, but Maka with the team kill taking that flag cap. And uh, just taking all the glory for himself is Maka and uh, his ACR PP90 combination. Maka just singing in the rain there as he kills his teammate Kui and a sign of confidence of how much they've asserted their superiority against uh, Money Team. And Money Team isn't Money Team anymore because that title is now gone to Trident. But uh, we'll just see how well they play against uh, Immunity. And uh, just before we continue, just a quick shout out uh, to Peel's hole in the back of his head. <laughs> um, I'll just do a quick shout out to uh, Deviant V. Yeah, asked me for a shout out before. I kind of forgot about it. And uh, there's a few people in the stream now, which is good to see. We will be um, jumping straight into Trident versus Immunity and Naked looks like he's already in the game ready to go but um, we will take a short break remember to tweet out the stream get as many people in here for the grand final as possible we'll take a quick music break um, and we'll be back right here on Heavy Burden TV just after this